I hate printf debugging. <laughs> Anybody who knows me uh, will know that I've like spent the last decade, maybe nearer two, trying to make the world's best debugger. So like, I definitely have a dog in this fight, right? But I didn't start a debugger company. I didn't hate printf debugging because I started a debugger company. I started a debugger company because I hate printf debugging, right? It's just the worst way uh, to debug. But even though those of us who make these tools try really hard like not to interfere with the program execution as far as possible, and uh oh, it's fading out. And when uh, and when we do, like in, in, in Undo's case, when we do, we try and interfere in a way that makes bugs like more likely to occur, not less. Still, even I admit that. Your Next slide, was, please. You're stuck with printer. I'm stuck with printer. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> page down. Page down. There we go. All right. Yeah. Even I have to. Even I have to admit that sometimes there are highs and bugs. <laughs> and printf's kind of all we've got, right? So I got to thinking, well, if we have to use printf, like, does it have to suck quite so badly? First thing is it's slow, right? Regular printf, and it's just printf to stand it out. It takes like five microseconds on my laptop. Okay, no one would do that, like, in seriousness. But even if you do some kind of version of fprintf or, you know, IO streams or whatever, I timed that at 133 nanoseconds, which is better, but not great. And in particular, it, like, scales really badly with the number of threads or the number of cores. And the reason is that libc has this dirty great lock right in the middle, actually in the right function. So these threads are all contending on this lock. And now adding printf means that like, I'm not just, not just slow, it's causing threads to block that otherwise wouldn't block, changing the scheduler order, just a disaster for uh, Heisenbergs. So I went looking, what could I find? There's a thing called speed log, which is actually a nice library. It has a lot going for it. Speed doesn't seem to be uh, the thing, <laughs> really. So it's worse than fprintf. And the same, it, uh, if you look at the code, it has this dirty great mutex in the middle. So even if you're just printing to a buffer, same, same problem. So uh, what about sprintf? Well, that's better, right? So sprintf, no lock. So if I just do my own buffer management, sprintf into a buffer, this is looking much better. It's maybe a bit slower in the single core case, but scales way better. Uh, and if I do uh, an atomic, uh, uh, exchange and add, then we can have the thread just get the index into the buffer, then that will do an atomic increment, the next thread gets the next one, and they can write independently into the buffer uh, without interfering with each other. And then I thought, well, we can just mmap that to a file-backed map, and so now the whole thing is going to hit the disk as well, even if my program crashes halfway through, right? I don't have this truncated <laughs> output problem. So that's kind of nice, but still, like, slower than I wanted it to be. So if I zoom in on this, it's scaling better, but it's still kind of slow. So then uh, I ended up doing something that's like totally strategically misaligned with the company and started trying to make printf better. Uh, and so I came up with the thing with L3, which stands for the uh, lightweight logging library. And I managed to get this down to one uh, nanosecond in the single core case by, yeah, basically the trouble with the sprintf is it spends loads of time doing the string manipulation. It's like does it actually have to do it twice, wants to work out how long the string is, another time to copy it in. So why don't we just do a fixed size thing? In fact, why don't we just copy in these little records with a pointer to the string, and then like the header piece, and then we mmap that, same as before, way faster, right? So I'm not doing any string manipulation. But of course, now I've got pointers in my log rather than strings. But if you've got the, as long as these are immediate string literals, and I've got the original uh, executable, then the executable works like this. It mmaps different bits in, so it mmaps the code into memory and the data and the read-only data, which contains the strings. So if I get the offset of that string pointer from the start of that section, and then apply the same offset inside the RO data section in the program executable, I can pull out the string. Uh, so yeah, so now by post-processing it, and then I can do my format processing later, way faster, much better. Um, kind of cheated a little bit by in the single threaded case, you can detect if you're single threaded and then just jump over the lock prefix. That makes that go even faster. Uh, and it's all up on GitHub. So uh, yeah, enjoy. What happens when the buffer fills? It just, it just loops. It's just a circular buffer.